Well, good good morning, everyone. It's a new day here at D for Dirt. Today we're going to uh, take uh, the tail shaft or the tail the adapter off of the uh, Grand Wagoneer, the ADA Grand Wagoneer that we took apart here in the earlier video, and we're going to use that that adapter to measure what we need. To, to put the 242 transfer case uh, in place, swap that in place of the 229. Uh, we did look at the other 229 case and it uh, its viscous coupler has leaked all the silicone oil out and so it's, it's also got a problem. And when I did a test on it, it was, I could turn it by hand, it was, it was worse than the one that came out of the 87. So we're going to attempt to put uh, a 242 case in this uh, Grand Wagoneer and we'll use a, uh, a cable shift uh, for the four-wheel drive portion. Make it a lot easier to use. That gets rid of the, the um, vacuum uh, system there that does the, the uh, shifting for it. And we, uh, that, that's also always been a problem and you can't get parts for any of that. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so we'll get the transmission drained. Uh, we'll get it set up on a table. And we'll pull that adapter housing off the rear of it. And then we'll put our uh, 242 case up on the table. And we'll get out the, uh, the uh, veneer calipers and we'll just see what we need. Uh, the long shaft for a 242 is three quarters of an inch longer than the short shaft. So hopefully that's enough. But I, before I spend 190 bucks for an input gear, I want to be sure that it's going to, to work. So that's where we're going. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the 242 transfer case that I plan on using, but I need to find out if I put the long shaft in here, this is the short shaft. The long shaft is three quarters of an inch longer. So if I put that in here, will it be enough to fit into the seal that's back in here? So that's the question. So, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is put this housing on here, up snug, and we can put a nut on there to hold it. although it looks pretty snug right now. So we know for a fact that it all fits together. Same bolt pattern. Okay. I know it's a little hard to see. Let me get my calipers. And we'll just measure that depth in there between the uh, existing, the end of the existing shaft and the lip of that seal.
Okay, so... I'm going to use this end and this, this lip here on the seal and we're going to turn this down until it touches We have 2964s. So that will be perfect. Three quarter inches. Good. Three quarter inches will put us in the lip of that seal. Not by a lot, but it will get the job done. So I'm going to be, I'm going to call that good. I'm going to be real happy with that. All right, so there you have it. We can put the long input gear into that 242 case, and then we'll get the uh, uh, slip yoke eliminator and put that in while we're at it, and then this case will be good to go. I know for a fact that this is a good case. It, uh, even it's, it doesn't even leak, so we'll be good to go here. Now the front shaft, actually all the dimensions show that the front uh, output for the front axle is the same length. It's exactly the same measurement. So with a slip yoke eliminator and whatnot, we'll have to, um, of course, either modify the rear drive line or buy a new one. So the question that I wanted answered was will they will the long shaft work in this transmission? And the answer is yes. So you have a 23 spline input shaft. And I'll get that ordered, we'll get all the parts in, we'll get things cleaned up and then we'll go through the process of, of uh, putting this all together and then it will go in the Jeep. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.